Hello happy people, my name is Dan and today I'm going to be playing some more GM48 Game Jam games. All of these games have been made in 48 hours and are centred around the theme of 60 seconds. So let's see what we have today. So up first today we have a game called What's In Your Mouth? A name that you will be all too familiar with if you've ever owned a dog and uh, in this game you are the dog. First thing that sticks out to me, obviously the amazing art style. The cute patchwork graphics, the, it's a really nice change, it's really something unique and I think it's just adorable. Uh, you're eating uh, various things, avoiding Mrs. Angry Patchwoman. Didn't see too much of her actually. Um, a few times I've played this game and she, she swan by and then vanished. So <laughs> that was that. You can hide behind these um, tables and bits and bobs as well. I ate that uh, rugby ball, I wasn't sure if I was meant to. But I did, and uh, occasionally you puke, you puke and poop and throw up and things. Uh, I, <laughs> I did get a little caught in the corner there because uh, you need a little more manoeuvrability really to see where you're going. But small little things. Um, overall, though, a lot of fun, and that I managed to get thirty thousand points somehow. I'm sure it said seven thousand, but there you go. A lot of fun. And next today we have I Will Have Seconds. Interesting take on the theme. Uh, think Mario teaches typing, but in a cafe, and you're not Mario, you're a dead skull. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun, and it's definitely a unique take on the theme, not something I'd seen before. Uh, the idea is that these plates of food will come along, uh, you eat them by typing the key that appears next to them, and you keep going or you will die horrifically, although you're already dead. <laughs> um, I enjoyed this one. I did think the graphics in this are reminiscent of those old Flash games as well. Um, it's a very interesting, very interesting concept. I think the only thing that could improve this is a bit more variety. Maybe type out some words, some hard mode where things are going by quickly. But overall, it's a fun one and I had a lot of fun with it. Good job. Okay, so up next we have a game called Tick and Taco, where you play as Tick, or if you have a gamepad, which I don't, you can play as Taco. You might have seen the background change there. Uh, what I find is really interesting, a nice little touch about this game, you can change the background. Nice little thought. Um, there's a lot of nice little touches about this game, the way the eyes uh, follow you around the clock face, but I'm not sure what they do if there is two players. Do one eye follow each? I'm not sure. Change the background again though, I like the cheery one. Um, there's also a lot of interesting concepts here where you're running around the clock, you're avoiding all the spawns of enemies. It's, it's, a, it's a sort of typical things firing at you at all angles and you survive as long as you can affair, but it's done really well. The only thing, and I hate to mention it, but I really, I really hate the font Comic Sans, and Comic Sans makes quite a prevalent appearance in this game. Oh, but it's a choice. Overall though, that didn't put me off the game. It was a fun one. I liked it. And finally today, we have a game called Sneg. Where you are, this little Sneg, or egg, egg sneg, sneggity egg, egg thing. Um, cute little egg. And you have to find clusters of penguins, which you can see quite clearly I'm not doing right now. <laughs> I really wish I knew how to play this game better because it's so cute. Uh, you draw these little barriers, presumably your penguins then stay in the barriers, like they they are there, and then you have to cluster yourself around them to keep yourself warm or you die. Uh, unfortunately, I went away to make more barriers and look! My penguins! Come back! Um, <laughs> it's a little difficult. Uh, they fly as well. I didn't think penguins uh, did a whole lot of flying, but there you go. And there's a massive cluster of them which slowed the frame rate a little bit there but I think that's processing a large amount of clusters of penguins trying to figure out how best to avoid me <laughs> um, I really think it's a very cute one there's a lot of uh, cute pixely snow going on in the background and I really just I so wish I knew how to play this better because <laughs> it's just so much fun looking but I just couldn't get those blasted penguins to stay and they they flew around the screen a lot which as an egg who cannot fly quite difficult to cap, keep up keep, 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 keep up with I cannot even words 
that's how distraught my poor snag is. But that is uh, the games I'm going to play today. I hope you enjoyed them, and if you did, stick around. There may be more. Until then, though, bye.